Welcome everybody, welcome back. Happy Wednesday to you all. Um, excited to be back here and uh, I'm glad you guys are too. That just means that um, I didn't torture you too much uh, on the previous workout and uh, glad to see you guys back here, like I said. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here for today's workout. It's gonna be, uh, since it's Wednesday, we'll call it Wednesday weights. Uh, so it'll be weight training. Um, I have two pairs of dumbbells that I have set up. I have seven and a half pound dumbbells and 15 pound dumbbells. Um, you guys are always welcome to use whatever you got at home. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, remember you could always use uh, water canteens or um, I had somebody using um, using uh, vegetable uh, vegetable oil or cooking oil. Um, so just be creative with it and use what you can um, at home and uh, get ready for a nice strength workout today. It will be pretty challenging. It'll be not only upper body, but we'll include some lower body in as well, uh, along with our core. So um, let's get it, you guys. Here we go. So I'm going to give everybody about, you know, maybe 15 to 30 seconds to get set up here. And uh, we will get going, you guys. Welcome to everybody that's on. Reminder, whenever you get a chance, please like this video. Um, you can do it during the workout now or after the workout. So. Um, Anytime that works for you, make sure you got plenty of water and a towel, and let's get it, you guys. We'll give everybody another 10 seconds, and we will get rolled. Yesterday's cardio rush was pretty tough. I know I was pretty tired afterwards, so if you didn't get a chance to try it out, I would definitely jump back to that one. Um, our Tuesday class, so cardio crush, just search it and I'm sure it will pop up. Workouts by NAR, and let's do this. Here we go, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my shoulders today, just rotating those shoulders, getting them nice and loose. Keep a nice little bend in the arms. Good. Now extend the arms and small circles going forward. Keeping those arms shoulder height, keeping your core nice and tight. Now work them back. Still small circles here. You should feel your upper body kind of warming up here as you guys do this. Keep those fingers shooting out to your sides and then bend the arms and take them backwards here larger circles. The reason I bend my arms is it protects the shoulder joint a little bit more when they are bent as opposed to completely straight. Excellent. Now go ahead and just fly those arms out and back. What you can do with your waist, you can tip it over a tiny bit, warming up your back muscles, specifically your upper back muscles, keeping that neck very neutral. Lift up those arms, fly them up, excellent, good. Now bring them here, fold them over and back, just like this. You want to pull those arms, those palms, in line with your ears, and then back down without collapsing the 90 degree angle that you're establishing with your elbows and kind of your side body here, going into the arm. Excellent, shake it out here. Okay, now let's go ahead and hug that knee high and switch. We'll just go ahead and alternate here. Getting a nice pull up through that hip flexor and then feeling it in the back here, kind of the attachment of your glutes and your hamstrings. Just drive it up. Excellent. Take a big lunge, step back behind you with your right leg. I have my left knee forward. I'm going to go ahead and twist over my left knee. I'm going to open my right elbow. I'm going to bring it back down and twist back over to this side. So come across, lift your right elbow, maybe look up, bring it back down, twist back over here. One more time. Here, look up, bring it back, 
and reset. Good, switch arms, switch legs. Here we go. So we're gonna go over the right knee this time. Start here, bring it across, over the right leg. Lift your left elbow up high, feeling that stretch through your side bodies, bringing it back, and rotate across. Keep your knee facing forward, guys. All the way over, open up high, pull it back down, twist across one more time here, lift, lower, and back across. Excellent, you guys. Now, go ahead and space your feet about hip distance apart. What we're going to do here is I'll give you guys a side profile. We do a deadlift motion because we will have some deadlifts today. So soften your knees, okay? Tip at the torso. Instead of sending your butt down like a squat, you're going to send your butt out towards the ball. So here, pretend like you're pulling your socks up and all the way through with the hips. And again, when you do this, you want to make sure you're feeling your hamstrings, right? You're keeping your palms as close to your shins as possible. And then you're coming all the way up to your waistline without bending the arms. And you're driving those hips through to relax the lower back. Go nice and slow with it so you can really engage the hamstrings and then tighten your core and lengthen your back as you guys do this. Three more here. Breathe and work. Breathe and work. One more. Excellent. Now take it into a squat. So what you guys just did was a deadlift, right? Our butt was going outward. Now send your butt down. So squat, obviously, totally different movement. We're still pressing through the heels, but we're letting our tailbone tuck underneath us here as we lift back up. Excellent, you guys, keep that up. Keep that belly tight, engage, and lift all the way back up. You can even keep those triceps back to warm up the triceps. Big difference between the two. When you can distinguish the difference between a squat and a deadlift, that's when you really start understanding your body, understanding the muscles at work. For this one, I'm feeling my glutes and maybe my quads. Right? For the other one, you want to be feeling your hamstrings. Good. Shake it out here. Now, lengthen out that leg. And then just go ahead and scoop yourself back up. Reaching for the outsides of your shoes and lifting yourself back up. You want to keep a pretty long torso here. It's okay to kind of hunch over a tiny bit. But you want to pull those arms downward first before you scoop up. And again, feeling the hamstring outward. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to the knees here. Shift my weight forward, okay? Bring it down into a tricep push-up. Hold it here, five, four, three, two, one. Drive it up, and again, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive it up, keep your elbows nice and close to your sides, you guys. Go, five, four, three, two, one. Notice I'm pushing myself up as one piece, and go, five. Four, three, two, one. Try it up. This time, take five push ups and take it away. Go. Five, four, three, two, one, and walk it back. So, hopefully, everybody should be pretty warm here. If you need a sip of water, go ahead and take a sip of water before we get started here. Um, but yeah, weight training today. We got weights. Again, use something else. If you don't have weights, that's okay. If you jumped on late, um, use something that's heavy at home. Water canteens, filled with water. If you want them to be heavier, I guess you can fill them with sand. Not sure if that will make the difference, but it should. Um, and yeah, let's get it. Here we go. So we're gonna start with a creep press. Okay, what a creep press is, is we're gonna start at the end of our mat, I'll start on this side here, okay? And you're gonna creep your feet forward, one, two, and then you're gonna drive all the way up into a, into a regular press here, okay? So um, we're gonna creep forward three times. So we'll go 
Here, here, drive it up. Here, here, drive it up. Here, here, drive it up. And then just go ahead and turn. Okay? Just go ahead and turn. We'll bring it back. Up and back equals one. All right? We're going to do a total of four here. Up and back equals one. In three, two, one, and take it away. So step, step, up, right back down. Step, step, up, right back down. One, two. When you're going backwards, step with your other leg first. Go. One, one, two, two, one, two, three. Excellent. Switch. That's one step right there, you guys. Take it away. One, two, drive it up. One, two, keep those weights parallel. And notice I'm stepping with my heels first. Keep those weights high. Take it away. Left, right, drive it up. Left, right, drive it up. One, two, two down. Two to go, you guys. Keep working with me here. Here we go. Stay low. One, two, all the way to the top. One, two, all the way to the top. Big exhale as you guys press. Here we go. Pop them up. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. If your back is starting to hurt, just keep your weights here and walk forward for getting press. Here we go, last time. Take it away. One, two, up for one. One, two, up for two. One, two, for three. Take it back to finish. Opposite leg. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. And shake it out. Excellent, you guys. Now, we're going to go right into our deadlifts. All right, so I'm going to go heavier with my weights. If you don't feel comfortable, start by going light. You can even do it without any weight so that you're not hurting your back. Okay, you want to get good form wise first, and then you can always increase the weight. All right, so again, I'm going to hold my weights here. Right in front of my thighs, right? Or right in front of my quads. Hip distance apart, and I'll show you guys both angles here. Soften the knees, and then slowly bring it down. Feeling the hamstrings pulling, notice how flat my back is. And then I'm gonna drive my hips all the way through. The reason I drive my hips through is to relax my lower back muscles, right? So, stay tight, shoulders retracted back. Take it away 15 times here. Lower, lift, and push for one. Lower, up, two. Lower, up, three. Come on. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, remember my butt's going outward. Ten, five more. Breathe. One. Two. Three. Four, right up the shins. And five. Shake it up. Good. So you want to go down slow and then come up quick like you're exploding up, okay? And you're going to push that ground, still maintaining that heel contact, right? So you don't want to shift your weight forward into the toes. Make sure that you're staying on the heels, but you're tightening those, those abs and your core, and you're really lengthening your back. And one thing with the chin, a lot of people do wrong. Some people like to look up. You don't want to do that because you're going to create some impingement in the neck. So what you want to try to do is maybe look out and down, so that you can keep your neck pretty neutral here, right, as you guys come up. So not too far out, maybe edge of your mat, right, and then, and then take it away. Let's go one more round, guys. Here we go. This time I'm going to face you guys. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. Soft knees. Drive those hips all the way through. Soft knees. For two. Go down slow, stay close to your shins. Four. Breathe. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
eight, nine, ten. Lengthen your back. One, push the floor with your legs. Two, three, four, and five. So if you're feeling it in your lower back a little bit, it's just going to take some time to really um, better your form. And as you guys get better at your form, then you're going to take away from that back tension. One thing that I concentrate on is tightening, like I said, and what that does is it tightens my back, right? So that when I am bending down and my hamstrings are pulling, right, my back muscles are not taking a beating, right? Because I'm not allowing them to arch, right, like that, but I'm flattening and then I'm tightening so that this is all locked in. So, all right, just keep that in mind. We're going to come back to that. We're going to take it on the floor here. We're going to go ahead and create a nice little bench press. All right, so you guys have done this one with me. I'm going to scoot down here. Just get your weights off to your sides. Simple bench press to start with. So you want your elbows at 90s. I'm going to go ahead and press up at the top and then control that. Let's take that away for 15. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Really nice. Six, seven. A lot of control. Eight. Remember, go down slow, up quick. Nine. Down slow, up quick. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly bring them down. Nice. Now, the next one we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pop up both weights. We're going to keep the left arm high. And then we're going to work the right arm five times by itself while keeping the left arm high. And then as soon as you get five, switch to the opposite side. Okay, we're going to go until each arm gets a total of 15. But five, uh, five repetition increments on the switches. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So I'm working only one side, guys. Two, three. And I want to maintain four, the opposite way, straight above my head. Five. Now go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now opposite side. Two, three. Softly bring it down. Four. Come on, guys. Five. Good. Hold and go. One, two. Your arms should be getting a little tighter. Three, four. Depending on what weight you're using. Five. And switch. Go. One. Last round on both sides. Two. Keep your core tight. Three, four, five. And go. One, two, three, four, and five. So, I know you guys hear me say it a lot, but when I say keep your core tight, it kind of translates to every movement, especially on this one, okay? Oftentimes, you see people doing the bench press, and when they're going heavy, what happens is their back starts lifting up like this, right, and arching to where you can slide a hand or even an entire weight underneath their back. And you don't want to do that. So again, what you want to do is you want to tighten, right? So that your back flattens out and pushes down into the floor and then you work out of that, okay? So let's go over time. Here we go. Um, this time we're going to go individually with the arms. Total 30, 15 on each arm. Alternating the arms every single time. Three, two, one, take it away, guys. Lift them up. So go one and then go two. Switch. Three, breathe, four, directly above you. Five, don't let that weight move. Six, breathe, seven, come on. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale up, eight, nine, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, nice and wide, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Go ahead and lower those weights. Bring yourself back up here for a standing position. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to my weights here. All we're gonna do is a lunge back, okay? And we're gonna add a roll with it this time. So first lunge it back and get yourself in a nice stride here or a nice lunge. And then you're gonna pull up, okay, two times before you switch the leg. And we'll do a total of 10 leg switches, which means 20 rows, you guys. When I roll, imagine you're starting a lawnmower, right? You have your weights here, and you're gonna tuck those weights back to your ribcage muscles, right? Off to your sides. Reminder, try not to let your elbow come out to the side like a chicken wing, right? We don't want this. We want it going up like an angel wing, rubbing against your side, and then driving straight up to the top. Finish with that weight right by your right by your side. Okay? Here we go, you guys. Ten leg switches, three, two, one, send it back, big stride, and go. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. There's three. One, three, switch. One, four, switch. One, five, switch. One, six, switch. One, seven, switch. One, eight, switch. One, nine, switch. One, ten, and rest. Shake it out. We're going again. So the same way I pull my weights up, I almost want to punch them back down. Okay? I don't release them back down, but I use my energy to push them back down with control. Okay? So keep that in mind in this next one. Here we go, you guys. In three, two, one, take it away. Step it back. One, two, switch. One, two, that's two. One, three, good. One, four. Keep working, you guys. One, five. Remember, of course, stay tight. One, six, three. One, seven, one, eight, one, nine, one, ten. Excellent. Shake it up. You still got one more. Hang in there. How we doing, everybody? Hi, Sorrel. Hi, Alice. I forgot who SMP4 was. Hi, our man. All right, here we go. So we got one more round. Notice how large my stride is when I step back. I cover the, uh, the width of my mat, right? Or the length of my mat in this case. So make sure that you guys are really challenging your balance, challenging your stride length. As you guys go, so here we go. In three, two, one, take it away. One, two, switch it up. One, two, that's two. Big step. One, two, that's three. One, two, for four. One, two, for five. One, two, for six. Stay low. One, two, for seven. One, two, for eight. One, two, for nine. One, two, for ten. Now, I'm gonna bring my weights down to the floor here. I'm gonna kind of place them diagonally. Here, I'll turn them over to this side. I'm gonna kind of create a nice little V shape here. If your weights are not large enough for you to get your fingers underneath it without hurting your fingers on the floor. All right, go ahead and do this without weight. We're just gonna go push-ups. Just gonna go push-ups. We'll go three rounds of 10 push-ups, you guys. Remember, you can modify by staying on the knees as long as you're shifting your body forward and taking it away. And for the rest of you guys, stay nice and tall with it. 
Drive all the way through. You got this. Here we go. In three, two, one. Take it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, the closer you place them, right, the more the triceps work. The wider you place them, the more your chest works or your pec muscles work. So I'm going to go a tiny bit wider on this next round, okay? And again, I'm making sure that they're angled. Why? Because I want my elbows to go at 45 degree angles, right? We don't want to create any impingement by going at a 90 degree angle like this. We want to make sure those elbows are going diagonally back as you guys work. Here we go. Round two. In three, two, one, and take it away. One, two, three. Four, make sure you're breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If this hurts your hands, all right, you can build up some tolerance for it. If you have gloves, gloves always work great. Probably not the quarantine gloves that you guys have been wearing, but maybe some exercise gloves. So that's a good investment anytime you guys are using weights. And if not, just go down to the floor and then go to the weights, all right? One more round, you guys. Here we go. In three, two, one, and take it away. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Excellent. Woo! All right. Now, I'm going to switch my weights. Okay? I'm going to go with my lighter guys here. And what I'm going to do here, actually I only need one of them at the moment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to either stay on my knees, okay, or I'm going to pop myself up back into that plank, and we're going to hold this nice and close to our body, and then tricep kick back. One of my favorite movements for a strength day. Why do I love it so much? It's a one-arm plank, obviously, and then you have your tricep kick going on. One thing to keep in mind is make sure that you're Elbow is the only thing that's moving, right? You're not swinging at the shoulder like that. Um, you're just really stabilizing as you lift up back behind you. I'm going to do the modified version, okay? So um, let's take it away, you guys. 15, 15 times. Right arm press, left arm hold the weight. Shift your body forward. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Control, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up. Ten. If I'm going too quick, slow it down. One, two. Notice my weight gets in line with my uh, shoulder. Three, four, and five. Switch when you're ready. Three, two, one, and go. One. Keep that elbow close to your body. Two, three, four. Five, exhale the weight away. Six, so breathe. Here's nine. And ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Shake out those arms. Need to towel it down. Towel it down for a second. Here we go. We're going back to that left arm. Again, if you want to challenge yourself and be in a regular plank here, go for it. That's a lot harder, right? One thing to keep in mind is don't let your hips open up as you guys do that. So keep that palm directly under your shoulder and stabilize here without externally rotating up. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. One, three, guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, with the neck position, you want to keep it neutral, right? If it's too much weight on the knees, you can always level up your mat just like this, just to give you a little bit more padding. Here we go, opposite side. Three, two, one, take it away. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Shake out those arms. I want to go one more time. Don't hit me, but I want to go one more. If you need to modify it, go ahead and modify it. Okay? If this is too much on the palms, what you can do is you can also stand up, right? And if you need a, another modification, what you can do is you can be here and then just go ahead and kick directly behind you. Notice I have my waist tipped over, my knees are soft. Okay? So use that version if it's too much on the wrist to hold yourself up. All right? Here we go. Left arm in three, two, one. Take it away, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, breathe, seven, eight, control, nine, and ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one, with a switch. Beautifully done. Notice I'm going up a lot quicker than I'm going back down with my weight. So make sure that you're controlling that weight and it's not falling down. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, kick it back. Three, four, belly tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake out those arms. Towel it down if you need to. Take a little sip of water. Give you guys a little break here. Hopefully everyone's feeling it. Alice, Susie, what's up, Anthony? Or Hermina, I know it's not hike working out over there. Mel is here. All right. So, a um, couple things with weight training is if you feel like, so let's say I'm doing pretty high repetitions here, right? I'm going about 15 reps on most of the exercises. Um, if you feel like you're flying through it, without feeling the burn, okay? Um, chances are your weight is too light. So you would wanna adjust, right? Adjust to the point where um, when you get to set, uh, rep number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you're really feeling the burn. And I know we don't all have the luxury of, you know, having all kinds of dumbbells at home, but if you do, and you do have that luxury, make sure that you guys are changing your weight. And the same goes if your weight is too much, right? and I'm going at 15 and you guys are crashing at, you know, six or seven, chances are that weight is too, too heavy. So you would want to bring it down a little bit um, unless your goal is to go less repetition. So, um, you know, kind of set your intentions there and then work with it. Um, and let's keep it going. All right. Yeah, that's right. Danny, feel the burn. I missed Wednesday. It's okay. Hike joined only for one day. Which day was that? I'm not sure. Can't feel my arms. And Anthony and me every day. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go back here. I want you guys to start. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a hammer curl, okay? And then a lateral fly. So hammer curl, I'll go with my lighter weights here. And what I wanna make sure I'm doing is Keep these weights parallel, keep your elbows close to your body, bring it up, drive it back, bring it up, drive it back, then we're going to do one lateral lift, okay? And the lateral lift, notice I'm going shoulder height, and then I'm controlling my arms back down, right back into it. I have this softness in my knees, I'm not uh, locking my knees, and I'm also not bending my knees, right? Just keeping them soft and uh, working out of that. All right, so we're gonna go for a total of 20 curls and 10 lateral lifts. In three, two, one, and take it away. So it's one, 
two, and then up for one. One, two, up for two. One, two, up for three. Try to squeeze at the peak. Up, two, lift for four. One, two, lift for five. Control angle. Two, up for six. One, two, up for seven. One, two, up for eight. One, two, breathe. Nine, one, two, up, and rest for 10. Excellent. Now, we're going to do the same hammer curl, except we're going to do a frontal raise this time. Okay, so we're going to go directly out in front and then bring them right back down. When you go out in front, what I want to see you guys do is the weights are going to be facing, they're going to be kind of parallel like that, but as they lift up, I want you guys to twist them, touch them, and then twist back as they swing back. So you want to finish like that and then bring them right back down as you guys go into your hand curls. Same format, two and one. Here we go, three, two, one, take it away. One, two, lift and control down. One, two, lift and control down. Notice I'm sticking my weights together as I lift them up. One, two, lift and control. Don't let your traps lift. One, two, or your neck muscles. One, two, up for six, you guys. Retract your shoulder blades more, pull them back. One, two, up for seven. Again, core tight. One, two, up for eight. Breathe. One, two, lift for nine. One, two, lift for ten, and rest. Shake it up. The last set is going to include two hammer curls, one lateral lift, one frontal raise. Okay, so uh, combine the two. Obviously, you're doing a little bit more because you're going to the sides and then up in front of you. Make sure that when you do go out in front of you, you're not doing this, right? We're not riding on a boat here or just kicking back like that. So make sure that you guys are nice and tight with your core, you're soft with your knees, and you're avoiding leaning back. Anytime you lean back, guess what's working? Your entire lower back. So you want to make sure you want to make sure that you're not right using that lower back as you guys work. You want to stay nice and tall with it. And if it's too much, guess what? Do less. So just work one of the sides. Just work the lateral rates, or just work the front of this. Here we go, instead of both. In three, two, one, and take it away. So let's go. One, two, lateral lift, frontal raise. Good. And then again, one, two, lateral lift, frontal raise for two. Control all your shoulders down, you guys. Two, boom, and boom. There you go. Work it, work it. Lift and lift high. Come on, guys. Up and out in front. Halfway there. Keep working. At six. For seven. You want to go about eye level, guys. Nine, last one. Now lift, frontal ribs, and rest. Shake it out. Hopefully that one's a challenging one. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is gonna be a single arm bent over rope, okay? We've done the two arm one in the past. I think the one arm one takes a lot more discipline, right, to do it correctly. So what's gonna happen here is this. Check it out. So, um, I'm going to do it with my 15 pound weight. You can go light, your choice, or you can go heavy if you like, as long as you're safe with it. So, I'm going to tip at the waist, okay, and I'm going to hold this, and I'm going to reach my arm down, and 
I'm going to row it out to my side. So frontal view would be here, right, tipped at the waist. And what I want to do is I want to stabilize. So what you can do actually, what I love to do is take your other arm and place it directly behind your back, pressing with the back of your palm into your back. And then go ahead and just maintain that. Nice straight back as you guys lift off to the side here. And you want your weight to finish in the midline of the body here, right? So the inside of the weight goes to the midline of your body, and then you go elbow high as you drive. And you're concentrating on squeezing those upper back muscles, keeping a nice tight core. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's take it for 10. And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, control your weight down. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, sorry, I did one extra one bonus for you guys. Let's go 11 then, since I did an extra one. If you did 10, you can do 10 again on the other side. Here we go. Three, two, one, and take it away. One, three, two, three, control, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, the hardest part of this exercise is to not allow your body to move. What you want to do is you want to stabilize or you want to kind of lock it in, right, in the position that you're in. And then the rest of it is just you working through that rotator cuff, driving it up, and then squeezing here right by your side, in line with your chest, okay? Okay, so that's, that's the challenge of this movement. Oftentimes when people do it, what they do is they have a lot of movement, they have a lot of swing, and at that point you're not accomplishing much. So make sure to really hold and stabilize your body before you work. Three, two, one, take it away. One, two, three, nice and close to the body. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch up side, tighten that core. Your back should not be hurting here. If it is, what I would do is go lighter, okay? And then maybe lift your body up a little bit higher so that you're not leaning over. Chances are your weight is too far from your body. Keep it close, all right? Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake it out. All right, you got one more round. On this last round, what I want you guys to make sure uh, you guys are doing is when the arm comes up, right, you want to make sure that your elbow is on top of the wrist. So now what's happening is as we get tired, we tend to flare out our elbows, but we keep our wrists very close to the body here, and this is what happens here, right? So we want to make sure we're opening up and squeezing, pinching the scapula together as you guys lift up to the top. Together, like you're pinching a pencil with your upper back. Here we go, in three, two, one. Take it away, you guys. One, two, three. Remember, minimal movement with the body. Four, five, six, nice and close to you. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, three, nine, and ten. Shake it out. Both your lighter weights, you guys. Grab them. Now, one round only, bent over, tricep kick. So this is kind of the modification I gave you guys, but we're gonna do it with both arms, okay? Tip at the waist, lengthen out in the back, and then drive those arms directly behind you. 
We're going for 20. In three, two, one, and send it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale as you kick back. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out, you guys. Woo! How are we doing? Are we burning it up yet? Everyone's hanging in. Keep breathing, keep working. Take a little sip of water. We got one short segment left. Is everybody sore? Anybody extremely sore from the last couple days? Or just kind of exhausted? You don't have to be sore, but I'm sure some people were a little extra tired, especially if you joined in yesterday. Noodles, Susie Noodles. Susie, that's your new nickname. I'm gonna call you Susie Noodles. Noodles do sound really good right about now, but I'm sure you're talking about your legs. All right. Let's keep it going here. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna combine our deadlift, okay? So what I wanna see you guys doing is you're gonna do a deadlift, drive it up, you're gonna do a deadlift, and then you're gonna hold right in that position, and I want you guys to do a row with both arms, okay? And the row is what, what's gonna happen is the weight is gonna start in this position, and it's gonna finish next to your sides as you guys lift up, okay? So deadlift, then row. Deadlift, then row. We're gonna go for two rounds here. Hopefully you guys really feel this. I'm gonna go with my lighter weight. If you're feeling it in your lower back, I would recommend going lighter here. Um, and if you're really feeling it, then just do it without a weight, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, and soften the knees, kick your butt back, lengthen the torso down your shins, lift yourself up, and again, now this time, row and row. Good, stand all the way up. And then take it over. Boom, hold, dry, dry, and bring yourself up. That's two of you guys. Three down. Remember, it's two of each. We hold the second one. And then you complete the second one after the ropes. Four. Squeeze your back muscles together as you guys work. Lift and right back down. Lift right back down. Go. Go. Drive it up. Back down. Drive it up. Back down. Here and down. Here and down. Go. Keep working, you guys. Finish it up. Two and all the way up for ten. Excellent. Shake that off. Bring it down to the floor. And do one crunch exercise here, and we will be done. So, take your lightest weights, okay? Bring them directly above here. And what we're gonna do here is, you're gonna extend your right leg, okay? You're gonna drop your right arm, and then switch. Here, switch. Here, switch. Notice my shoulders and my neck and head are off the floor, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're lifting up, and as you guys do so, as the leg drops, whichever leg drops, that's the arm that's dropping, and you're keeping it high up. We're gonna go for a total of 30. I'm gonna go with my lighter weights here. It's your choice if this is too much. What I would recommend is keep your head and shoulders down, keep your weights high, and then just work the legs. In 
three, two, one, take it away, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty left, one, extend that leg, two, stay high up, three, breathe, four, you got this, five, come on guys, six, let's go, seven, keep grinding, eight, nine, now ten left, lift higher with your shoulders guys, one, come on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Excellent. Bring it down. Shake it off. I'd like to give you guys one more thing here. All I want you guys to do is lie down on your back, hold your weights here, and you're just going to kind of lift and pulse. Lift and pulse. I'm going to do a total of 50. 5 0. If the weights get too heavy, you can drop the weights, okay? And then just kind of work without it, just like a regular crunch here as you guys work. All right? Here we go. 3, 2, 1, and go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Keep the weights parallel. 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Keep your chin high. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lift your body. 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. All right. You guys have made it. Congratulations. That's it for weights. We're just going to go ahead and cool it down now, stretch it out for a second, and we will be done. So, take a big step out in front of you with your left leg, send your right knee back behind you, and place my towel here behind your knee, give myself a little bit more padding. So, lengthen your stride here, and if you can, pull your knee back more. If you challenge yourself, bring both hands in front of you here, open your right arm. So, if you have your left leg forward, you're sending your right arm to the back, rotating your body here, then sweeping your arm forward again and taking it back again. Sweep it forward and pull it back again. Now reach that up high, right? Hold on to that wrist and pull it over to the left side. You want to feel that pull all the way through the hip complex. Up through the inner costumes, through your lap muscles, and up your arms. Switch, opposite leg. Here we go. Big step forward, reach both hands in front, put the palms together, rotate the left arm back. This time I'm turning my body away from you guys. And then swing that arm overhead, right back to that palm, open up again. You want to try to get your entire body to turn and face that side wall. One more. Take it away. Open up. Hold here. Excellent. Sweep. Now, lift your left arm up. Hold on to that left wrist. Pull it across to your right side. Maybe peek underneath your arm, looking up towards the sky or the ceiling. And slowly bring it down. Bring it to 
Both your knees sit back on your heels. Roll your shoulders back. Now, some of you might be more flexible at this than me. I used to be able to do this when I was younger. You're gonna link, okay, the two palms together behind you here. Now, if you cannot do that, like me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my towel, I'm gonna throw it over my shoulder, I'm gonna hold on to it, and then I'm gonna try to climb my fingertips to each other as I work. So you can do this in a standing position or on the knees, your choice. Just try to get closer as you go. This is great for shoulder flexibility. And then sometimes we notice that one side is easier than the opposite. So go ahead and switch. Try the other side. I'm going to make this a goal of mine to try this more often and to stretch more often. With this stretch, it's a nice way to open up your shoulders and challenge. Also, you get a little tricep stretch when you use it when you use the towel too. Really, just tug on the towel. But the goal is to climb those fingers back towards each other and then shake it out. Again, roll your shoulders back. Send it for a tricep stretch. And switch. Opposite tricep. So we'll bring it down. Take a nice deep breath. Control the way up. Exhale, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Bring it down to the floor and hold. Work on your hamstrings here. Remember, you can always soften your knees. Take some tension off that lower back. Or you can widen the feet. It's your choice. But the goal is to just get a little bit more flexible every single time. We did a lot of deadlifts, so you will be feeling your hamstrings if you did those correctly. A little lower back stiffness is normal. Okay, you might feel that a tiny bit. Slowly bring yourself up. Roll the shoulders back one last time, supporting the neck to your left shoulder. And what you can do with this opposite arm is you can kind of pull downward and you're going to intensify that stretch. You don't want to go too intense, but just pretend like those fingers are being pulled down to the floor as you go away here. You know, really deepen the stretch and then switch. Just lengthen, push down. Sound like someone's pulling your fingertips back down to the floor. Slowly bring it back. Rotate your head clockwise one time and counterclockwise one time. Look over your left shoulder, look over your right shoulder. Take a deep breath all the way up and exhale. As you guys look down, congrats, you are done. Thank you guys for joining. Um, what we got here, if you can, please like this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, today, again, was a different type of workout. Of course, it was a strength day and we used our weights. Anytime you use weights, it really kicks your butt, especially if you choose your weights correctly for the movement that we're doing. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it at home. And I look forward to seeing everybody here tomorrow, ready to work. Um, just a quick announcement. I will not be teaching on uh, Monday because it is a long weekend. So um, 
I'm going to give you guys that day off. I'm going to give myself that day off too. Um, I just needed uh, some time to reset my body here and um, just tr jump back into it. But I will see you guys tomorrow and Friday. So let's go into the weekend strong. And um, yeah, that's about it. Please like this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and happy soreness coming your way. Bam. <laughs>